it. Well, this is a good start. Why are you here? Are you... <laughs> Go away! Go in your basket! Hi everyone, I'm Emma and this is Emma Rose in Books. Today I'm going to film for you the small booktube tag. I got tagged to do this by Sue Scribes. If you haven't seen her channel, then go and check her out. She does a bit of author tube and a bit of booktube like I do. Um, so if that's the kind of thing that you like watching then and you haven't seen her channel before, then please go over there and check her out and say hi from me. So the first question is to introduce yourself. Well, my name is Emma Rosen. I like books. <laughs> um, I'm a mum of three. I've got a, a seven-year-old five-year-old and a nearly one-year-old she's 11 months um, so that's a boy girl girl <laughs> I I live in the countryside and I've got a lot of hedges around here and it's like bug season so sorry about all the little midges they're not midges but anyway I currently work as a teacher um, and I have written my first book which I announced in my last video is called Milk, which is about breastfeeding, and that is coming out on October the 20th. I also love the sea, so some of my videos are, I film while I'm there, and I also um, sing and play guitar and dabble in music a little bit. Number two, how long have you been on Booktube? About three months, I think. I think I started in February, thereabouts anyway. Three, what type of videos do you make? Well, if we're focusing on the booktube side of things, because I, I, I put a one booktube and one authortube video a week, but obviously this tag is relating to booktube, so I'm gonna talk about that. Um, I don't do T TBR videos just because I don't watch them myself, so, you know, um, and also because I, I've got chickens, so if you can hear them squawking. Um, so, and, and I tend to just pick a book off the shelf, like it's not really a, planned thing I don't know maybe I'll do it in the future but at the moment I don't but I do do a monthly wrap up I've done quite a lot of tags lately because they've been quite fun to do but I would like to put up just a, a bit more just other stuff um, I want to do a little bit more vlogging not lots but every now and again <laughs> just look I'm sorry about the wildlife <laughs> um, every now and again I would like to do um, you know, a reading vlog or just, you know, that kind of thing. So there'll be a little bit of that. Plus, I want to start doing some book reviews. Um, I'm planning to review... Oh, this bird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up. I'm planning to review... I plan to do some more review videos. I'd like to review all the light we cannot see um, in the next few weeks. Um, and you know, if I read something that I think I've got opinions on, good or bad, I'd like to just actually kind of get into the nitty gritty of the book a little bit more rather than just like talking about it in a wrap up. Um, also, I like to film outside when I can too. I like to film outside when I can because it's nice to kind of just get out in the countryside and the light is nice and I think that the audio is a little bit warmer when I'm inside I feel like it's a bit sort of tinny whereas outside it just doesn't have that quality although you are although you are plagued by barking dogs, buzzing flies, chickens, birds, bad audio. I mean I've already filmed this video once, it was too windy um, and I'm going to put in my vlog the footage of when I tried to film it. I tried to stop the wind with my bag and I thought it had worked and it didn't and the audio was just unusable because it was way too windy. Yeah, you know, sometimes that happens. I I've had two or three times when I filmed a video and I've not been able to use it because it was just, the, the sound quality was just not good enough. Um, so that that's the downside of filming outside. But in general, I would much prefer to take the opportunity to be outside um, just to have nicer scenery, nicer audio, get some time outside, absorb some vitamin D. But yeah, so generally, if I like to film outside once a week. It doesn't always work out that way. It depends on the weather. So anyway, you can expect my videos to be outside if I can, if and when I can, <laughs> and if it works. Um, four, what do I love about booktube? Do you know, it's the community. It's just, 
I've said this before, but I, I didn't expect it to be what it is. It's been very just warm and the comments, everybody leaves each other and the way that people talk about each other and support each other. Um, I really love that side of it. Um, the other thing I love, of course, is that you've got people telling you things that they've learned, telling you about wonderful books, having an intellectual conversation. Um, yeah, you know, who wouldn't love that? Number six, what's the favourite video you've ever made? Well, there were a couple of videos I filmed um, where I filmed on like a, a local shingle beach and it was just a gloriously sunny day and I filmed two videos, it was so hot, I had a lovely time just chilling out filming YouTube videos and like mucking about on the beach with my baby so that was just like a really nice day so in terms of enjoying enjoying filming it that was lovely um, I really enjoyed making the OMG this song book tag because it was just it was a laugh and I love music so being able to combine my thoughts about music with my thoughts about books was really cool I really liked doing the booktube newbie tag because I felt like that um, that gave me that was when like I found all of these like started finding all these booktube friends so yeah in terms of kind of meeting the community that video was brilliant tag at least four small booktube as well I wanted to tag caught between pages because I missed Vendy from caught between pages off of my small booktuber shout out um, because I'm just stupid um, but she's already done this tag however I'd like to take the opportunity to say go and see her channel she's brilliant um, I love the way she talks about books she's a really fun person anyway I'm gonna tag four other booktubers that I don't think I've talked about yet um, and they're all great um, so book bubbles they'll all be linked below book bubbles Katie Wilson she reads and Snow White and the Seven Shelves and in particular Snow White and the Seven Shelves has done the funniest couple of skits recently but yeah all of those brilliant new booktube channels anyway um please like if you did please subscribe for more bookish and writerly videos leave me in the comments anything you'd like to comment <laughs> um tell me about any other small booktubers that you'd recommend and um, I will see you all again soon bye